Hi and welcome back to another 10 minute tea break chat with Carl. Got another guest on the channel today, Jen Stanbrook. So Jen has a very successful interior design website. She also can be found at jenstanbrook.com where she teaches others how to make money online, build a successful business and all that good stuff. So let's get Jen on the stream. Hey, good morning, Jen. Good morning, Carl, how are you? I'm very well, how are you? Yeah, I'm really good, thank you. It's good to be here. Yeah, well, thank you for joining us. Yeah, we've got a few questions that we've been asking our audience. I wanted to get you on the channel because I've seen you on YouTube. I've also been over on your website. I've even sat on one of your webinars, which was fantastic. <laughs> so um, if anybody Brilliant. doesn't know who you are, please just tell the audience a little bit about yourself. Okay, cool. Yes. Yeah, so I'm Jen Stanbrook. I am a blogger, a digital uh, publisher, and also a Pinterest coach. So I've been using Pinterest for nearly 10 years. I've got a million followers and I teach other businesses how to use Pinterest as a marketing tool to drive loads of great traffic to their websites. Wow, that's fantastic. Yeah, I mean, I've been heavily involved with Pinterest a few years ago now, I must admit, and I've only just recently got back into Pinterest. And I sat on one of your websites, which was a Pinterest um, actual webinar, and it was fantastic to hear that some of the traffic you can get now from Pinterest is really strong. Yeah. How, how are you finding Pinterest at, in 2023? Because I know it had its ups and downs and some people have fallen in and out of love with Pinterest. <laughs> why, why Why would you suggest somebody goes on Pinterest right now? Oh, um, I mean, it's back there for bloggers right now at 100%. And I get that there was a lot, a couple of years ago, things changed and people lost their traffic and kind of fell out of love with it. But I mean, I never stopped and my traffic has been consistent, but in the last six months it's really, really, really grown hugely and it's so much easier so much simpler takes less time and it's much more about quality than quantity right now so it's it's just a really nice cool place to be for um you know putting your content out there there's there's somebody for everybody over on pinterest yeah, it's definitely a way of diversifying your traffic. If somebody's writing blog 100%. posts all the time and they're seeing that traffic go down on Google with all the updates and algorithm changes yeah. and stuff, it is definitely something I'm working on at the moment. And yeah, definitely the mindset is is changing on it. So that's fantastic that you're doing that. Yep. I'm not going to talk too much about that because you are at the affiliate gathering this year, which is fantastic. I you're am. going to be there. And I know it may be a topic that you're covering. So we won't talk too much about that on this stream. So one thing I wanted to ask you, uh, a question here, what was you working on last year? What kind of things did you really focus on in 2022? So last year was kind of coming out of the, of the pandemic, I guess, uh, when I was still writing content for the blogs, but my main focus was in my coaching business. So I had um, uh, I was working on my pin club membership, um, my one to ones and mentoring lots of mostly women in business um, who have online businesses and want to use digital marketing in a stronger, more effective way. And that was my main focus. Um, towards the end of the year, I started pivoting back towards uh, creating content again. And for the last six months and into 2023, I'm kind of splitting my time more evenly between content creation for the blogs and the coaching and the Pinterest marketing side of things. It, it's been a bit of a pivot and that's been a bit of a reaction to the market, I guess. Um, people having maybe less money to spend on coaching and marketing and um yeah, just really excited about what's happening in digital publishing right now, to be honest. Yes, that's that's actually really fits in really well with my next question, because you obviously you coach people and there's been a lot of change. And we've mentioned that yeah. word off camera as well, pivoting and, you know, finding diversity in the industry. So a question I've got here, which really well actually connects with your um, clients and the people you're working with, which was, you know, how do you keep motivated? So not only yourself, how if you're coaching people, how are you keeping them motivated if maybe, you know, their website or their business isn't doing as well as it was before? Yeah, um, it's, it's, this is a really good question. And uh, I think I ask myself this quite a lot. Um, motivation, I think, comes from doing something that you really love. And I think you soon find out if 
the job that you're doing or the work that you're doing, um, or even if it's a hobby, you know, a side hustle, making your, trying to make you some cash. Um, if you're not truly, truly loving it, then the motivation just isn't there. And the other thing that really keeps me going and I try and do with all of my clients is goals. I set goals. So I set big goals, but then I break them down into smaller, more attainable, like weekly and monthly goals. So they might be tasks I want to achieve or numbers I'm heading for. I'm a bit, I'm big into stats. So I do like chasing the stats. And, uh, you know, I can look up here on my whiteboard and that's what I'm seeing right now is all my, all my goals and what I've ticked off and what's coming next. Yeah, I'm absolutely the same. I'm an absolute data geek. I, I just love it, looking at what's working and gathering as much data as I can. Um, sometimes I go a bit maybe too much and don't actually get the work done. I'm too busy gathering too busy data. looking at the stats. <laughs> <laughs> and especially in our industry, when you've got things like, you know, uh, Google Analytics on your phone and stuff like that, it's, it can be a bit of a distraction. So um, a lot of, yeah, a lot of really good things you said there, which I, I know a lot of the audience will struggle with themselves, you know, keep themselves motivated and wondering why they're not doing as good as they should be. So there's a lot of people coming to the affiliate gathering that, you know, will be maybe at the start of the journey and things like that. So mm -hmm. it's great that somebody like you is going to be there. So you, you didn't come to the affiliate gathering last year. Is this your first first year, isn't it? I, this is this is my first one. I'm I'm a newbie. <laughs> That's, fant yeah, that's fantastic, yeah. yeah. What, what are you looking forward to about this year then, coming to the, the first oh. event? Oh, it's, it's just got to be the networking, hasn't it? It's got to be meeting other people, doing the same thing as you. There's nothing more uh, powerful, I, I think, for your motivation, for your business, than seeing other people in your niche doing what you do. Because how many people in the real world can you go and talk to about SEO or Pinterest marketing? I mean, not many. Uh, so having an event that really... Um, brings all the people together that do the same thing as you. It's amazing. That's what I'm looking forward to the most. Yeah, definitely. That having that little support network and you know making yeah. them contacts where you can just ring somebody and say, "Hey, my traffic's gone down today. Is yours?" And they go, "Yeah, mine has." Okay, something must be going on. It's not. Yeah. It's not just me. Having that little bit of a support network is great. So yeah, now that's really good. Is that so? What are you focusing on this year? Has anything changed from 2022? Because I know what I was working on last year. I'm definitely not working on this year. I'm definitely doing a lot of things differently. So what are you yes, or your me. clients kind of focusing on? Me personally, I'm focusing much more on one-to-one -one working with clients um, just because that's what I really, really love. So whether that's in Pinterest or blogging, um, I've just set up a little mastermind and just working on uh, creating those connections with people, but on a much deeper level. Uh, then on the content creation, it's all about traffic. So I'm all about, you know, improving SEO and maximizing Pinterest. Um, I've been working, I, I teach people email marketing too. So uh, in my own kind of email marketing world, I'm building out my list further and deeper. So yeah, that that's what it's all about. It's, it's making it sustainable. It's making it secure with all of those different streams of traffic or audience so that I know should I lose one, then the business is safe. So on your personal blog, so the interior design one, mm. have you seen any changes there with uh, traffic sources or anything like that? Have you seen any highs or lows kind of over with, there's been lots of algorithm updates and you know, it seems to be the yeah. topic of, of the day every day is algorithm updates and stuff. How's your website been? Yeah, it's been okay. I mean, I'm going to be really, really honest with you guys that yeah, uh, please do, SEO yeah. hasn't always been my focus because my blogging career, if you like, has always been about brand collaborations, uh, social media. You know, I was the face of my brand. And so I was brand ambassador for loads of different UK brands. I had uh, TV work. I did live TV. I did like social media campaigns for lots of different interior brands in the UK. And so that obviously... COVID, thank you, COVID, sort of dried a lot of that up, especially in my niche. So, um, yeah, it's it's been much more about focusing heavily on SEO, really building that out, really working with affiliates, with um, building out the traffic. And so for me, that's been a big shift, a big pivot. And it's, you know, there was there was a lot of growth to be had. And so we're still still growing that. Yeah, I mean, you mentioned brand there. It is something in our industry that we are heavily talking about and heavily focusing on um, because, you know, a lot of people are going to have to look for affiliate deals, affiliate programs, mm -hmm. brand collaborations and things like that. And without having a brand to your 
website, to your YouTube mm. channel, whatever that may be, it's much more difficult to get those deals and, you know, get that yeah. extra income coming in if you haven't got a brand. So, uh, yeah, it, can, it is a bit of a buzzword around at the minute is build a brand. Yeah. You know, E E A T yeah. and brand. E -E -A yes. It's yes. all about it's, it's getting longer, isn't it? Yeah. It's going to be E E A A A T T T. So, mm. you know. And I've come I at it from the other side. That's where I started. I built the brand first, built out social media, built out the blog, built Pinterest. So SEO traffic wasn't necessarily a big focus, but didn't need it necessarily, um, because it was just all about having an audience that connected with me and then being able to work with the brands and having relationships with all different PR companies. So that was the big thing. Um, and now, you know, I think there's this kind of meshing of the two worlds where we all want a bit of all of it now. It's really important that you that you have that diversity in your business, whether that's you want brand collaborations or an email list or want to use Pinterest marketing. It's really smart to, to go for at least something other than just Google. Yeah, I mean, we were talking off camera before this started and mm. we we're saying about the good thing about our industry is if one area goes down, you can work on another area. Uh, you know, 100%. I mean, this e email list, you know, I know a gentleman that makes thousands and thousands of dollars each month off a very tiny email list. And it is yeah, very yeah. tiny. It's about a thousand long. He's only got about a thousand subscribers. He makes thousands of dollars. You, you've got Pinterest. You've got YouTube. I know a couple of people are really going heavy now on Facebook and TikTok paid yeah. advertising. There's, there's all sorts you can look into. So, yeah. you know, if one traffic source doesn't go, it goes down, you shouldn't just say, I'm giving up and throwing in the towel because there are so many options. That's what I do like about yeah. this industry. Plus, you don't get bored, you know, right? You know, if you're just Absolutely. constantly writing <laughs> SEO blogs, you know, I, I know I'm really into heavily into video at the minute and it takes my mind off of that, my, you know, okay, I've got to write another 2,000 word article. So, you know, I do love the diversity that we can yeah. go into, you know, so... Yeah. Um, fantastic. We, we're nearly up on our 10 minutes. These, these tea breaks don't, right. don't have fly they by. Fast. And they do, don't they? I've got one more question for you. So where, apart from at the affiliate gathering this year, because you are going to be doing a workshop, but you're also going to be sitting on the Q&A panel, I believe, which is I really am. good. Yeah, That's really fantastic. exciting. Yeah, yeah. Well, you can find me at jenstanbrook.com. That's my coaching website. Um, I am at Jen Stanbrook everywhere. So if you want to go and have a look at my Pinterest account, feel free at Jen Stanbrook. I'm on Instagram at Jen Stanbrook. Uh, if you want to email me, hello at jenstanbrook.com. Um, and yeah, I've got my interior design website as well. Love Chic Living. Fantastic. Yeah, I'm sure uh, because you mentioned the domain, I'm sure everybody will jump on and take a quick look at that. So it's, it is a lovely website. So I just wanted to thank you once again for coming on. Like I say, I know you are very, very busy and I won't keep you for much longer. So thank you very much, Jen, for joining us on the stream. Remember, if you do want to purchase a ticket for the affiliate gathering, tickets are still on sale. There's an after party. There's also fringe events before if you want to come the day before and meet people. So you're not going to the event on your own head over to a fringe event first, then join us on the day, which is the 19th of May in York in the UK. Very really excited. It's a very friendly event. I do want to get that across. We are not a stuffy SEO, you know, really business focused event. It is a gathering. It's a friendly event where you will meet like-minded people and hopefully learn something along the way. So Jen, thank you very much. And I will see you at Affiliate Gathering. See you.